Hey everybody, it's Denise, NOLA Collectibles here, and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a thread up unboxing. This was a 24 piece of jewelry that they offer as part of their rescues. This was one of the last boxes I was able to get that was still offering the 24 pieces. You may or may not know, they've since um, kind of eliminated that option from the rescue site and are now, I think, doing only 15 pieces of jewelry, but they have lowered the price. So um, I think it was 24 for 34 or 39, and now they're doing only like 15 pieces. So I'm kind of disappointing, but I wonder if they're running out of stock or what the deal might be with thread up but I'm excited because I have this box here that I've been saving um, to open I have a couple that I've stockpiled um, to do a little bit of the unboxings videos with you guys so anyway let's get right into it I thank you for coming to my channel um, this is what I do here it's usually jewelry on baggings and, and unboxings thread up Goodwill, Shop Goodwill, and my local thrift store jewelry bags. I am a huge jewelry enthusiast. I've been a huge jewelry enthusiast for most of my life, and so uh, this is kind of like a great way for me to kind of combine some of my passions um, in a fun way, you know, part-time, and also, you know, do a little reselling too. So this bag is super lightweight, and it didn't come in any kind of like special thread up bag. Uh, this came from Duluth, Georgia. It came in a Ziploc. <laughs> and um, that's kind of like what that looks like. Let me just double check my receipt here to make sure I'm giving you all the right prices. Yes, so this was a 24 piece for $40. I think I may have gotten free shipping, so it took a couple of bucks off. So let's get right into it. I'm seeing a big, a big jewelry box in there, a big velvet jewelry box, which, hey, that's got to be a good sign, right? So I'm going to go right there. Of course I am. This looks like this. A little bit dirty okay and it's a bracelet from k jewelers so that's that's nuts look it's brand new still in the box let's see let's see every kiss begins with k and every thread out box does too i wish <laughs> okay, so this looks like a silver tone or white gold um, bracelet here with little squiggle marks and it looks like it may be pink topaz or pink sapphire. I, I believe a lot of like, you know, mall jewelry brands, they tend to do uh, pink sapphire or pink topaz in these types of um, these types of bracelets. It's got a little lobster claw clasp. Let me take a quick peek at it to see if there's any kind of jewelry purity on here, purity mark. I have my loop. I see um, towards the end here on the hang tag, close to the clasp. Okay, and it's saying that this is 10 karat gold. So this is a tennis bracelet, either pink topaz or pink sapphire. It looks like it's got a little bit of a diamond accent as well. Set in 10 karat gold from K Jewelers. <laughs> so that was, that's a big surprise and that's exciting. Um, didn't think that I would be getting kind of any kind of modern precious jewelry from ThreadUp um, from K Jewelers, but you guys, there it is. So that's a great way to start this bag. So I'm feeling like way better about that. I'm going to put that right over here to the side. I'm feeling great about that. Um, that, that probably sells for a couple hundred bucks, I bet you. So here's um, another little baggie here. You know how they roll the, like a lot of baggies. And this is looking like a sterling silver necklace. It's a little tangly snake chain. And that looks like that. It's got a snake chain. The snake chain's a little bit tangled. And it has this kind of modern sterling silver pendant on here with some stones in here. And it looks like a peridot, a garnet, and possibly some kind of opal. So let me see if I can get a little clearer for you. I think I'm going to get rid of this bag because my camera is not focusing on the jewelry. So I'll eliminate some of the noise. There we go. I think that's better already. So... Yeah, so this is an interesting little pendant. Like I said, it's got that little crystalline opal in there, inlaid. That's what the back looks like. 
I'm not seeing any kind of stamp or maker's mark. This is a really nice chain though. Chain is marked 925. I'm sure the pendant is sterling silver as well. Okay, yeah, so this is uh, this is nice. This is definitely um, an interesting little pendant and that's a nice little snake chain. So I'd like to clean that up and I think that's that's a pretty nice piece of jewelry as well. There is a card here with some bobble bar jewelry, little stud earrings and some bars with multicolored crystals in there. And this one is is marked and it says $38 on the back. It looks like it, it does look like it's missing a pair of earrings from the middle. So these are really cute. I like those like kind of like stick bar style earrings. Those are nice. It's not sugar fix. It's definitely bobble bar. So a little bit of a higher price tag on those. There is this little kind of cotton bag tie with little birds on it says Chloe and Isabel and in here ooh, I'm not familiar with this brand it looks very anthropology to me like birds on a wire I mean kind of screams anthropology I don't know I don't, I'm not sure I'm just making things up but could be I'd have to do more research on that so this is a really pretty pair of rhinestone earrings chandelier style and they're very pretty. They have all kinds of like Aurora Borealis in there. I'm looking to see if they're missing any stones. I am not seeing any. They look pretty whole to me. So those are pretty. Nice little fashion statement, special occasion earrings. Those are nice. All right. So far so good, you guys. This is some nice jewelry. Mm -hmm. All right, opposite of the nice jewelry <laughs> is some, some jewelry from Forever 21. This is a, a jewelry bracelet set from Forever 21, super cheapy, lightweight, and this guy has the ticker on, ticket on the back, and it says that the original retail of that was $4.90. So new on card, but Forever 21, $5 price tag. That's that. If it's, you know, you guys, if it, the price tag is $5, what do you think the cost of goods on that is? It's probably direct from China. It's probably like 40 cents. <laughs> I mean, it's true. I'm sure they pay like nothing for that. So there's a bag here with a ton of bracelets on in there, and they all look like Alex and Ani. Gold tone, which is great. Uh, I'm not mad about this. They look all brand new. And this one here is... Uh, a Disney collaboration. It's the Disney Animal Kingdom Alex and Ani bangle and it's just got a little Disney emblem on the back and the Animal Kingdom charm on the front. There is this other one right here, gold tone. I am not really sure what I'm looking at right here. <laughs> uh, some kind of enamel charm. I don't know what that is. Looks like a, um, an octopus <laughs> or a Cthulhu. <laughs> um, it's, I don't know. I have no idea. I don't know what that charm is. Oh, let me come in closer for you guys. And like, you can tell me what you think that is. This is just some like abstract enamel design or is that a legitimate thing? And I don't, I don't know what it is, but anyway, it's brand new. It looks brand new. It's super shiny and nice. So that's great. And there are three of them. And so finally, this is the last one. And this is so cute. It has a little unicorn charm with a glittered background. And this says on the back, unicorn, Alex and Adi, um, magic, innocence, and healing. Up close, this little bit bad boy looks like that. Super cute. Yeah. So three Alex and Ani, um, uh, why am I brain farting? Charm bracelets. <laughs> yeah, it's a day, guys. It's a, it's a little early. I'm doing this a little early. I need another cup of coffee. Um, on card here is a pair of acrylic J. Crew earrings. And these are very cute, kind of like that mixed plastic acrylic look there. Almost like a tortoise, but in blue. 
and this one's still on card. It doesn't have any price on the back, but these are really nice and I love that they're on card. So brand new J. Crew earrings. That's fantastic. There's a lot of stuff in here. I think that there's more than 24 items, which yeah, I'll take it. Another Chloe and Isabel piece of jewelry here, and this is a wrap bracelet so has a little button clasp closure has a little kind of like Swarovski looking crystals on it I'll give it a look see here and show you guys what it's it's very long what it looks like for me wraps about three times around so mixed metals very blingy nice crystals very heavy different color crystals and it has like this like kind of like woven fabric in between the chain link so again this looks like it's in great condition very nice very shiny no wear and um very heavy so again not sh totally sure where chloe and isabel comes from but that's cute okay There is a faux turquoise um, Southwestern inspired kind of necklace here, double strand, howlite, dyed howlite centerpiece there. And this one is from Chico's. So again, this looks like a brand new piece of jewelry. It's very shiny. It's got these little porcelain pieces here and, um, you know, silver tone beading. And like I said, very Southwest inspired. And... That looks that looks good you know I know Chico's is probably not the type of jewelry for the thread up demographic but a lot of folks love Chico's jewelry and Chico's jewelry sells resells very very well people actively look for it and it's um, pretty easy to sell and it sells for a decent amount of money because it original retail on Chico's jewelry is a lot of money it's it's pretty expensive if You've never checked it out go on their website you'll see their jewelry is like 67 dollars um for a lot of their pieces so that's nice and i'm not mad about that at all okay there is this very heavy natural stone necklace here big chunky beads and some faceted crystals and this one i'm looking at it and i'm looking at the toggle clasp here and the way it's finished you can see the crimp beads are exposed this to me looks like a homemade piece so someone's kind of like beading project so i, I always you know for me the way i you can see um but this is like nice componentry it looks like sterling silver findings and you know, this is like nice high quality beads that looks like a some kind of agate on these these are very heavy big beads and i'm sure they cost a lot of money for this person when they purchased them i was just looking for my magnet of course i can't find it i'm sure it's stuck to me somewhere <laughs> here we go yeah so like i think that's a sterling silver finding and it's just got these like cognac um faceted beads in between and these pretty multi-faceted rounds up close that is what that looks like. So a little homemade piece of jewelry that ended up over at ThreadUp. There is this pearl necklace here. And it looks like a banded pearl. And it has this hidden clasp closure. Let me see what's going on here. No, the clasp. The closure is not really closing properly so it's it's almost like a box style clasp and you slide the the bit into the bead and it's not staying securely in there you can see it like kind of like pops right out so i could see why this ended up being a rescue but this is a nice piece of pearl jewelry I don't think that this finding is, is precious fennel. I don't know. It might be. I'd, I'd have to test it. Uh, but the pearls, they look legitimate to me. Let me double check. Yeah, these are legit pearls. Um, very pretty pearls. Freshwater pearl. Nice luster on them. 
banded you can kind of see how the pearls look like they have little ridges to them that's my cat luna she's making her requisite appearance and that pearl necklace looks like that so yeah i'll have to check out that clasp and if it's something that's repairable or if it's a precious metal clasp or finding that's usually kind of like problematic from a repair perspective because uh, 14 karat gold findings are really expensive, you know, like it's first of all, you can't even find um, Precious metal findings all that frequently at least not gold ones And if you do find them like I, I would source um, on eBay fire mountain gem That's gonna it's gonna cost you a lot of money. Those findings are really expensive price of gold is high And that's really all that is that's contributing to that price that high price So this is just like a gold brushed gold tone chain necklace very long and this one is from Also from Chico's I think Yes, another piece of jewelry from Chico. So then again, this is just a very long gold tone. Very nice condition. Has these round stations here, a little bit of crystals. And this is very nice as well. Great condition. Nice looking piece of jewelry. Clean, pristine. And that's great. Another piece of good looking Chico's jewelry that will probably sell. And then there's this bag here, Ziploc full of rings. And there's still more stuff in here. You guys, I think I got more than, I'm pretty sure I got more than 24 pieces. But I'll take it. Okay. This looks like a bag of silver, which makes me very exciting. excited. Hope you guys are having a fabulous day. We are having lovely weather here, so I wanted to take advantage of the bright light and the sun and, and do some recording and uh you know get up on the third thread up boxing because they're staring me down over here mocking me um <laughs> i can't i can't handle it i have you know like no i have i really i, I don't have the willpower to stare at them and have them just sit there so for my own purpose selfish purposes i need to open them but of course i want to share it with you as well um so this looks like almost like a tree of life silver ring So there is a 925 on the inside of the band, and that looks like that. It's a nice ring. It's big. That's great. It's a cute ring. So a little tree of life, silver ring right there. There's this kind of like modernist bubble design, circle, modern. This does remind me almost like of a Tiffany design of like an Elsa Peretti. I feel like we did see this. We've seen a lot of jewelers do this style. I'm looking on the inside. It looks like someone attempted to clean it and there's a little bit of um, silver cleaning residue in between. This is also stamp 925. So this is another silver ring. And that's very cute. That looks like that. I'll have to clean that guy up. I mean, the problem with silver cream is that it gets stuck in all the crevices. So, you know, you think you're cleaning your ring and you're polishing it up, but then you have like residue in all of these places that it gets into. So that's a nice ring. I like to use a polishing cloth for me. Uh, you know, it's non-toxic and it polishes up your silver just really easily and it requires little effort and it usually yields like the nicest dividend. Like, you're just going to get really pretty, you know, shiny looking silver after using a polishing cloth. In fact, I have my polishing cloth right over there. I was just polishing up some silver. Depending on the piece, I like to sometimes clean it up or sometimes I'd like to leave a patina. But, um, you know, it's so funny. I just had a buyer reach out to me recently and she purchased a sterling silver bracelet. It was this big, heavy, twisted bangle. It was very pretty. And she emailed me twice and she was like, please polish the bracelet. And it was like, yeah, girl. I understand <laughs> you like a shiny bracelet. It, it was pretty shiny as it was, but you know, I told her I'm not a professional jeweler, but I use my cloth and I'll polish it up before it get, goes out to you. So you'll have a nice shiny bracelet. So I haven't heard from her. So hopefully she was happy. So this is just kind of like, I'm not really sure what kind of stone this is. Like maybe it's a, like a zebra Jasper. Um, it's pretty sterling silver it looks like yes so 
right there on the back. There's actually some kind of artist signature as well. Let me see. It says T Tucker. That's a cute ring. Nice and heavy, well-made, nice sterling silver ring from designer T Tucker. I don't know that designer, but it's nice that it's signed. Here's another one, kind of got this like gray lavender pearl right on. Um, you know, the band is very thick, nice thick shank right there. And also 925 and also that same designer T Tucker. So we have two pieces of jewelry here from the same designer T Tucker. They're really nicely made and they're very, both very heavy. So that one kind of looks like that's very like modern. It's awesome. Fantastic. This is like a great box. I'm really happy with it so far. This has been fantastic, you guys. Much better than some of the other boxes I've received. Um, so this is a just a modern V-shaped sterling silver ring. Inside it says 925 and Sovat, Sovats, S-O-V-A-T-S. This is cool. I like wearing it like on the upper portion of, of the hand like that. That's pretty neat. That's also very nice. It's more lightweight, but it's very pretty. It's nice and shiny, speaking of shiny jewelry. So that's a, a really nice ring. There is this kind of like tiny silver. It says it's a size seven, a little band. And it just has a little bit of white inlay detail meant to look like stone, but I think it's enamel. And it's just a silver band there on the inside. It said it's size, size seven. So that's cute as well. Nice. Oh, yeah. And then finally, the last piece that was in that one bag is this big, heavy snake chain and pendant necklace. And this one is Brighton. So there's the Brighton B right there. And this is in great condition. It looks brand new, super shiny, very heavy, reversible pendant. So on this side, you'll, you can see there's a faceted crystal in the middle. And on this side, it is that flat kind of hand hammered look. So this is fantastic. Super nice quality, super heavy. I don't see anything wrong with this. I don't feel like I've seen anything wrong with any of this jewelry. Not, why, not sure why they would qualify some of this as rescues. I mean, the pearl bracelet, I mean, the pearl necklace, that had a broken clasp, I got that. And then there was that homemade piece. I could see why they wouldn't want to sell that, but this looks perfect. That's awesome. It looks expensive. It looks like a more expensive Brighton piece. Awesome. All right, there's oh, this little random super thin bracelet right here bangle bracelets it's got the tag on it that says six dollars and a price less a price le petite so what does that mean after you're little <laughs> after the little for the little maybe this is a, a children's or oh we're like a teenager brand after your little would be like a teenage, I think, right? A teenager. So maybe that's a fancy version of the limited two. I don't know. <laughs> you remember that store, the limited two? I had a friend that worked there in high school. That was so funny. And this is cute. Uh, I don't know if this is silver, but I have to imagine no with its $6 price tag. But that's a, a very cute kind of minimalistic with a little crystal detail bracelet there. And so finally, the last bag is another very full bag of jewelry that looks like this. And let's get into this. Wow, oh, this is amazing. A lot of stuff in here. 
And there's more Alex and Ani bracelets. I was chatting with another um, YouTuber and we were, you know, we were talking about the thread up boxes. Yeah, everyone always chats about it. She said that she recently received a ton of Alex and Ani in her thread up box. So I'm wondering maybe that they've bought some kind of overstock from the brand and um, are selling it in the, as part of the rescues or agreed to sell it on their site. This one is not an Alex and Ani, but it's kind of very similar in the same vein. It's got, it says, um, because I knew you, and it has a little princess crown on it, a blue stone, and very shiny, again, kind of like in that Alex and Ani style, but not, not Alex and Ani. This one is Alex and Ani, and this is another little unicorn. So we had the gold one, and so here's the silver tone one. So two of the same bracelet, one in gold tone, one in silver tone, and it's that cute little unicorn with the sparkle on the back, with the glitter. Unicorns. These are very cute. And the last one is another Alex and Ani, and this one says it's got a little kite on it silver tone with this little geometric kite this is so cute little charm dangle right there the ends of the kite and then on the back so it says inspiration in flight so again very cute Alex and Audi silver tone bracelet bangle it looks brand new that's great i don't know what's the going price on alex and Ani bangles these days they were pretty expensive when they came out like i remember they were a thing and uh, you know everybody was snatching them up by the handful but they were pretty expensive there is this again a snake chain silver tone with a blue glass dangle that looks like this and then there's these two little wrapped earrings that match in the same cobalt blue. And this, uh, I'm not seeing a brand on it, but it is very shiny. It looks very brand new, and it also kind of looks kind of Chico's to me as well. The chain is nice. It's nice and it's heavy and it feels like nice quality. Very shiny, great condition, and that's like a great little set right there. And then this final piece, is again very similar to the vein of of Brighton and it is a silver tone double snake chain necklace with a I'm trying to figure out this oh, okay wow this is like a heavy-duty clasp you put that in there and it snaps close and it has this um, very heavy pendant here with some kind of abstract design and I think this is supposed to be back which is weird because this is like where all the design componentry is but you can see right there if you can see it right here it says 925 so this is a sterling silver piece of jewelry this is very heavy it's kind of got that like I don't know what would you call this like croc maybe like a faux croc kind of look to it but this is a lot of silver. It's really heavy. And you know, the necklace is nice. It's almost like that David, right? That David Yerman style. Heavy, big, chunky silver. I would die if this was David Yerman. I don't think it is, but 925 has a little like moon symbol underneath it. Let's see if I can look in the um, inside of the pendant, see if there's anything there. I think this oh oh it does open okay so you can take that off so you can take this off if you want to wear it on another chain and or wear the chain solo or put something else on I like the idea of wearing the chain solo or put something else on there it's kind of like a little enhancer And I'm just like looking for maker's marks here to see if 
And I don't think I'm seeing any, but I'll do, I'll definitely do research on that to see if I can find anything that looks very similar. This is a lot of silver. It's really chunky. It's nice, nice quality. I think that's like a little firefly and a flower. That's pretty cool. So this is it, everyone. The box was super light and I was like, what is in here? Because there seems to be nothing in here and it was all in this bag, but there was a ton of stuff in here. So let's see, this is one, all these bracelets. Two, three, four, five. This little dude, six. This heavy, bright and piece, seven. Let's count the rings. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Earrings, 15. Chloe and Isabel, 16. J. Crew, Blue Side, earrings, 17. Bobble Bar on card, 18. Other Chloe and Isabel um, statement earrings. Is that 19? I have the memory of a goldfish, you guys. I'm going to say 19. Homemade piece, 20. Broken pearl piece, 21. Chico's turquoise, 22. Two more Alex and Ani, 23 and 24. 25. Other Chico's 26, Sterling Snake Chain 27, and the K Jewelers 10 karat gold bracelet new in box. Um, could be pink sapphire, could be pink topaz. So that's a lot of jewelry, you guys. And this is like a really nice assortment of high quality items. I mean, yeah, I got, you know, Forever 21, but also got this like awesome Brighton piece. Also got a huge pile of Alex and Ani bangles that I can easily all resell. I mean, this is like literally like a pile of, of bracelets right here. Got two nice quality Chico necklaces that those will definitely do well. I have a pile of sterling silver rings, all very pretty, all nice quality. I have this snake and sterling silver pendant here. And even the bobble bar earrings on card and the J. Crew earrings on card. And this mystery, super, super heavy silver tone necklace with that removable enhancer. This is awesome, you guys. Even this, like, with these little Chloe and Isabel. Um, chandeliers these little crystal pretty or or borealis crystal earrings are really lovely nice pearls gonna test the clasp on that see if it's broken see if it's fixable but that's not bad either so yeah this was a pretty awesome thread up box um thinking about the cost forty dollars and and with free shipping i'm gonna make that back and then some just with this bracelet this bracelet's probably worth a couple of hundred dollars. I think in the mall, they likely would have sold it probably for three to four hundred dollars. K jewelry, mall jewelry um, from the jewelers like K jewelers is expensive. It's not cheap and it's 10 karat gold. So um, just on that, that's going to be a great item for resale. So I'm super excited. This was an awesome box. Great items. Let me know what you think. I'm, I was excited to share this with you as well. And I think you would agree with me that this was pretty. This was a score of a box. I'm very, very pleased. Let me know what your thoughts are. Thank you for tuning in. I so appreciate it. Um, you guys give me a thumbs up on the way out. Thank you to all my new subscribers. I, 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 I got like a little influx of folks that came in over the holidays. I so appreciate that. Trying to grow my channel. Chugging right along here. So thank you to the new folks. Thank you to the folks who've been tuning in since the beginning. I appreciate you all. I hope you have a fabulous rest of your day. Let me know what you think. And I will see you next time. Bye.